I woke up today and I was like, I need a glow up. So that's exactly what we're gonna be working on in this video. I actually feel like I wanna change like a whole lot. Like I wanna focus on every single area. So we're gonna be doing hair, getting a new makeup routine, new clothes. I'm gonna do a closet clean out. What else? Yeah, currently I've been in sweatpants and sweatshirt for a few days. Whenever I'm in casual outfits for too long, it just affects my mood for some reason. I do love the sweatshirt though. It's actually my own. You can shop it at simplysofias.com. So let's start with going through my closet and then we can order some new clothes. I don't even want to look at this. This is what I have to work with. Like I can't even make an entry into my closet. All right, it's like five minutes later, but I need a break. So I'm gonna head out for a walk. It's super sunny, super beautiful, and walks are good for you. I usually don't prioritize walks. I do have a little puppy, so she kind of like makes me go out and walks with her. But since it's been winter, it's been like so cold. So she only wants to walk for like five minutes. But I thought we'd take a little longer walk today. So I put on somewhat of an outfit and I brought out the Converse. That makes me get such like spring vibes and we need the sunnies. <laughs> Okay, so honestly, the finished result doesn't really look any better, but it feels a lot more organized. So I have shorts over here, and then blue jeans, black jeans, and just overall black pants. And then this section right here is everything I'm keeping, and this right here is everything I'm getting rid of. Well, this is my boyfriend's clothes, but now I also have a better overview of what I actually need to shop for and what I don't really need. All right, good morning, it's the next day. I'm currently trying to take care of my skin because I was just sitting outside and I had the Snapchat camera on. If you zoom in, you can like see so many little details. I could like see all my little pores on my nose and also I could tell my skin was so dry. So I cleansed my face, I did a little like nose strip. I think we're gonna do this face mask. Um, it's like a moisturizing balm. <laughs> This mask was actually really good. Look how glowy my skin is. Like you can see how moisturized it is. I think my puppy likes to smell cause <laughs> she's trying to eat it. Alright, hey guys, so it's a few days later and today I'm gonna work on my hair. I feel like if you want to change something about your appearance, like your hair is a great thing to start with because it can make such a huge difference and I'm really looking for a difference. So I actually got this brown toner a few days ago so this is pretty much gonna be the exact same color as i already have it's just gonna like even out my hair a little bit you can't really see right now but in sunlight you can like see how my old bleached hair is like shining through i got this because i was like okay i'm just gonna go all brunette but then i was like that's not gonna be a, like any difference from now so instead i went and bought this today this is so far from what i was like planning to do 
so this is a blonde hair color so i'm gonna bleach my hair so i'm definitely not gonna bleach all my hair because i'm not gonna deal with hair breakage and like just really bad quality hair again i've already been there done that but i do want to get like a few highlights especially like here in the front for for summer and then i'm gonna make it like an ash blonde or ash brown we'll see how it turns out so i'm kind of thinking this tone and this also i think this is so pretty if it turns out really bad i can just use this all over my hair and it's gonna be like nothing happened but i'm gonna try to do it at home first before i go to any hairdresser because i don't want to spend hundreds of dollars if i'm not sure if i want to keep it or not i just got this idea like yesterday so it's kind of impulsive but i feel like it's good it's gonna be a change all right and we are done wait i feel like the lighting's really bad but you can definitely see a difference you know it actually turned out more natural than i expected i expected it to be like pretty sharp like highlights or pieces of like orange because i know like it takes more than one bleach for it to actually become blonde it turned out like a lighter brown color which i actually think looks pretty okay actually in this lighting it just looks brown honestly i just feel so good because i finally made a change to my hair i like that you can definitely see a bit of a change but it's not like too drastic My hair kind of looks a little red in this lighting, but I'm gonna keep working on it. I actually feel a lot better just going around without makeup in this hair. I have naturally a really light skin tone and my hair is naturally pretty dark. So I feel like my dark hair just washed my face out. But I was just gonna cook some lunch and I was really feeling a pack of instant noodles. But then I was like, if I'm trying to like have a physical glow up, I should also focus on having having good foods because I mean it all starts from the inside absolutely like I can still have this but I really want to focus on giving my body nutritionist food there's so many studies how the right foods can affect your how your skin looks your hair growth and just everything so we're gonna do a little rice and bean bowl All right, and here is the finished meal. Super easy, it took like 15 minutes and I just topped it with some cheese and sesame seeds and then having some sour cream and tomatoes on the side. All right, so I wanna show you guys some of the things I wanna start implementing into my self-care routine. So first one is pretty obvious, it's a lip balm. Just like moisturizing my lips every single day, especially now after the winter, my lips are so so dry i feel like it's the little details that count second is start oiling my hair every day i do put oil in my hair after i wash my hair but i want to start doing this daily i've seen so many people talk about oiling daily and actually a few like a year ago maybe i had the driest hair and the one thing that actually transformed it was when i started oiling every single day so i feel like this is especially important if i'm gonna bleach my hair again so i'm using the moroccan oil treatment oil and then this argan oil okay and then lastly i'm gonna start doing an eyelash serum so this one is from a brand called X Lash, and I've used this one before and it's so so good like it really works you just have to apply it every single day which I'm kind of lazy about <laughs> All right, so this is a result after the second bleach and it looks super like orangey like right here in the front It kind of looks okay. Like it's an actual blonde, but the rest of it is like orange I just ordered a toner. So hopefully the toner is gonna fix it a little bit
it's finally time to get rid of this orange hair but i have to say the oiling is really really working for my hair i was like expecting my hair to be a little bit dry after bleaching it two times but honestly the last couple of days i felt like my hair is as good as like it's ever been which is like super weird after i bleached it but i'm pretty sure it's because first of all i've been oiling every day and then also i haven't been washing my hair with shampoo because shampoo can be pretty rough on your hair all right so this is how the hair turned out after the toner it's still definitely a bit orange so i'm gonna get the darker toner yeah this is it for now Alright, so I showed you guys I want to get a new like makeup routine and I kind of did my makeup a little bit differently. This is Milk NYX, what is it, like highlighter pencil basically and I used it like on my nose and on the inner corners of my eyes and I actually really like the result. I also did a bit of bronzer as eyeshadow, like a darker bronzer and I really like it. And that's like about it, but I'm gonna go pick up a microblading brow pencil that I ordered from Sephora and I'm also gonna look for a blush because I really like my blush and I just wanna get a new one. So yeah, we're gonna go to the mall and look for that. Alright, so I picked up the brow pencil. They actually had this like click and collect at Sephora. Everyone probably already knows this, but it's the first time I saw one. Alright, so the brow pencil I ended up getting was the Sephora Collection Microblading Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade number 6. I'm gonna try to apply it right now in the car. We'll see how it goes. Because I actually have a dinner reservation tonight. I need to leave in like 45 minutes maybe. And I'm not even home yet. But at least I'm all ready. I've spent like all day getting ready. Oh, and also I applied a blush at Sephora. And this is the NARS in the shade Amore. And it's a really nice shade. I actually really like this one. Alright, but let's try applying this brow pencil. Alright, they do look super sharp right now because I haven't brushed them out yet. But I don't have any brush right now. But I do really like this product. It's super easy to apply. It creates like super shaped eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hi guys, it's the next day and I'm gonna do my nails today. I haven't done my nails in probably like four months. I haven't done them since I got a puppy because she's been biting my fingers and my nails. My hands have not been looking good for a few months. Yeah, because of you. <laughs> what a timing. Oh my God, yeah. Hi. Oh, and she's biting my nose. Yeah. Oh my God. Hi. But it's okay, she's so cute. Like, she reminds me of a little snake, how she like opens her mouth like that and then like attack. So I used to get acrylic nails, but my natural nails would always look really bad after getting them done. Oh, she's eating my hair now. Excuse me? Are you my little hairstylist? This is the only distraction that works. Like, she loves playing with toilet paper. Uh, yeah, I used to get acrylic nails, but when you get acrylics, your natural nails always take a lot of damage. They would just always like look really bad after. I don't know, I just don't really want to do that. I want to do something more natural. So I saw this girl on TikTok that only did clear coat so they kind of looked really fresh and well taken care of really shiny so i'm gonna apply this clear coat and then also do some coconut oil hopefully this will make them look a little bit better <laughs>
like just by applying a clear coat they already like look so much healthier and just shinier they're obviously like super super short i know but yeah i can't really do anything about that right now So remember I told you guys I was gonna order some new clothes? Well, they arrived and this is one of them. It's just a brown, like really casual shirt, but I feel like you use it with both leggings and jeans. It's super comfy also. Right, and next I got this halter top for summer. Yeah, it's just a pretty basic top, but I really like this neck part. I think these are a great alternative to a normal like tank top. I feel like they're a little bit more like dressed up. All right, and then I got like a curtain say tank top kind of because it has like the straps yeah definitely really like this one i think this will be like perfect for going out during summer um i mean you could definitely dress it down with a pair of jeans or dress it up with a pair of suit pants my bedroom is so messy right now please don't mind but i got this beautiful maxi dress that has like one leg open i mean i think it's so fancy just imagine traveling with this during summer and wearing this like late at night it kind of almost reminds me of the skims dress it's like super tight it has a super soft fabric also and then i got this beautiful mini dress with flowy mesh arms this one is so fancy as well i cannot wait to wear this for like date nights or just like going out to dinner with my friends it's so so pretty it's like such a casual dress it's still super dressed up because of the arms and also this like neck part i actually got a lot more but i already did a try on haul so i'll link that one in the description if you want to check it out and i will also have the link to all the clothes if you saw anything you liked nothing was expensive at all like i think everything was around 10 to 15 dollars all right a little update we're back here because i'm about to do um, a second toner this one is a bit darker it's in the shade 811 hopefully we're gonna see a bit of a better result this time all right guys i forgot to film the after right after i finished my hair but it actually turned out so good i know it looks a little bit darker now but it's definitely like an ash kind of ash blonde slash ash light brown i feel like in this lighting it kind of looks more ash brown but definitely in sunlight it looks ash blonde <laughs> but it blends out with my hair a lot better than the like orange <laughs> What are you doing? She's styling my hair. Just doing some finishing touches. But yeah, I absolutely love it actually for doing it myself at home. I definitely just like feel more put together and I think it's good to have like a change just once in a while. If you feel like something needs to change, tiny little changes like doing your makeup in a different way, like a new makeup product or a few highlights or painting your nails a different color, like anything can make such a big difference. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!